Hey guys, this is Ivan with Overlook DNT, and in today's video, we're working on a controllable gas cannon. Bam! Alright, so this little idea here was brought to uh, me by Mr. Eddie Royalis uh, and confirmed as. Don't look over there. Don't look over there! As functioning by my buddy Ryan Ogden. So if you're on the PlayStation 3 or 4, you know, then go check his video out. Um, so he basically confirms that it works. Now, one thing that just happened here, I am in survival, okay? Keep that in mind. One thing that just happened is that I was far enough away for the hostile mob, which is the ghast, oh crap, to um, disappear, okay? So keep that in mind. Uh, you can do this in survival, I guess, in theory, if you spawn the egg in here, at least in the overworld. Uh, very doable in the nether. Now, very doable, I mean in the sense that it's actually doable because you have ghasts in there. Beyond that, you're going to have to trap one of these fools in a chest. In a minecart, I mean. And let me show you how it, it is possible. So we'll do this. You know, let's just push it for good measure. So I'm going to put it here. Ghast here. And then catch him. Oh no, I didn't catch him. I didn't catch him. Oh no, I'm inside. Oh no, I keep catching. Oh my god. Hold on. Move cart. Move that way. Alright, now move this way. I didn't plan this out very well. There it goes. Oh no. Man, I can't get him. I can't get him. Oh crap. Oh crap. Alright, so it's doable. In theory. In theory. Oh, let me take care of this mess. Come here. Nah. Oh, right in the face. What? Totally kicking his ass. Quit yelling at me. Alright, hold on, let me take care of this fool. Oh, right in the face. Get you in the junk. Come back here. Come back here. It's supposed to be a tutorial. Alright, alright. I was gonna jump down, but remember that whole. Um. God, that was an adventure there. The whole falling down and retaining the fall damage. Alright, whatever. Oh, crap. I'm out of heart. Oh, almost out of hearts. Alright, so in here you can't see me. He can't see me, so he's not going crazy on me. But when I do this, he can see me and he goes crazy and he tries to shoot me. You see that? Alright. Alright, so we're going to uh, put our back to him. And when we hear him yell, we're going to just try to shoot these guys. See, I hear him uh, yell and then I basically start swinging my sword. Wherever I swing and point to is where the uh, projectile goes to. Look at that. Oh, almost. Almost. I'm going to get him right in the butt. Oh. Oh, I should have burnt off his junk. There we go. Oh, perfect. Oh, I'm almost a marksman. Alright. Nah. Alright, now, and I don't want to do... Um, okay, if you want to turn it down, do that. But as you can tell, like, you can control it. It kind of goes behind you and then... Whoosh, and you don't have to have a sword. It could be your fist or a rail or whatever. So, I would show you that it's possible to get him in a card. Uh, the way Ryan did it, he put a little rail here and then pushed it in there and then spawned him in there. So, he had no order to like, move on to except for the card. But in reality, like in survival in the nether, it, it's very possible it would just be a horrible pain. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back into a not-so-blown-up section of this and then we're going to build it. And that's it. Just know that it works. It's not going to work once I go into creative because the mobs don't go all crazy on you. They just leave you alone. They just leave you alone. Alright, so then peace out for now. Alright guys, and we're back. We're back. So again, big thing. You know, the the, cost, uh, the gas is going to despawn, okay? It's going to despawn. Uh, so, so keep that in mind. So we're going to do 6x6. Six six. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One, two, three, four, five, six. A square, people. A square. All right. Hmm. One thing. One thing. Because I did exit and save out of this area here a couple of times as I was just kind of testing going from creative to survival. <clears throat> it doesn't despawn when you exit and save. It doesn't just float out of the cage. It's technically in there. The only reason why it disappeared when I went all the way to my little studio set place is because I'm too far away and that's what hostile mobs do, they despawn. Okay, so keep that in mind. Alright, sweet. So this is gonna be four high. That's it, four high. Nothing much to it. You know, I was thinking the only thing that this thing would kind of make sense for 
is if you're playing kind of like a you know like a PvP map or something, and the gas can kind of serve as a turret. You know what I mean? Like a like a little person controlling, trying to shoot people, trying to attack the base. I don't know, guys. Use your imagination. But that's what I was thinking, you know? Alright, hold on. It's supposed to be four high. One, two, three, uh, almost. Should have done with click and wind it and then just skipped all this. I mean, you guys get the idea. Alright, alright. And then the top, I mean, I covered it all in half slaps. In reality, I think it's good as long as the gas is not able to get out. So, let's just, yeah, let's just try it. We'll just put something in the middle, okay? So we'll just do like this thing here. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. So the guy should not be able to exit that. All right, and in the sense of the redstone, this is it, okay? You basically put a sticky piston, like right here. You break that, it's gonna suck that one back and forth. And you need a lever. Shut up slime. Like so, like so. So when it's out like that, he can see you, and then you know he's trying to kill you the whole time. You need a little, at least uh, from what Ryan did, he had a little platform here. Maybe it's uh, you know just the best angle to catch things, uh, or maybe if you're one lower, the gas doesn't see you. Who knows? Just just put a platform here. Why complicate things? All right. So we'll put that here. And yeah, you shouldn't really be able to escape. Let me smack him in the face. Oh, he's mad though. You mad, son? Ah! Now I feel kind of bad. Alright. Now one thing. One thing. And I'm sure. I'm sure. And you know, let, let's let's have some science-y time. Because why not? I'm going to make a short tutorial be longer than it should be for science. Always for science. So we're going to make a little circle here. Cows and things like that, when they remain in motion, they don't despawn, right? Now, what we're gonna do is technically this thing. Uh, let's get some power to this. Power to the pupils. Like that, and like that. Make this card spin around. Okay. So, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna test this out. We're gonna put. Uh, put that here. There we go. I'm gonna put a gas in here. Oh crap. Oh crap. Alright, I'm alright, I'm alright. Don't be freak out. Alright, let me catch that block. There we go. As you can tell, this fool's spinning around, okay? Now, I bet. I bet. What would I bet? What would I bet, you guys? I don't know. I bet something that once I leave, the other one's gonna despawn and this one is not gonna despawn. Now, the problem is that let's say it does not despawn you're gonna have to set up a system to turn off the torches so that it stops so you can actually use it as a cannon of sorts okay just you know a tip why do I have a hole here Ugh. all right far enough away let's go back let's go back it's getting dark I'm scared nope Nope, hostile mob despawned regardless. So apparently it's only just normal. Good thing I didn't bet you guys. Good thing. I want to pay you. I would have lied to you. Paid you in gas eggs. Well, fantastic, guys. I hope you guys liked the video. Big thanks again to Eddie Ruelas. Again, you guys on the PlayStation. Go check out Ryan. Because, you know, people always ask me, does it work on the PlayStation? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And you know what? You might as well support somebody that's on it. So as always, hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe up top and peace out.